Hey everyone, this is Jared of VK3BL and today I just want to do a follow up to my video how to get the um, most out of your receiver or transceiver um, which was made with the Icom IC7300 and I want to do one for SuperHet receivers because they are slightly different in the way that they um, display the S meter and that basically changes the way you want to do your adjustments a little bit. So in the original video when I was using an IC7300 when you adjust your RF gain down, um, you don't see the signal peak um, on your meter there like you do um, on a traditional superhead. Now this is a Kenwood TS590SG. It's probably one of the best um, performing superhead receivers ever made at an affordable price. So um, it's worth uh, keeping in mind if you're in the market for a superhead. These go for very cheap second hand now that the IC7300 has been released and um, they're quite a, quite a lot of radio for the money. They've got two antenna inputs and a whole bunch of other features. Anyway, I digress. So basically, um, the core fundamental thing you need to keep in mind is that anytime you see the S meter move, you're actually um, engaging the AGC or automatic gain control of your receiver. Now when you're doing that, you're introducing non-linearities uh, non into the system and that creates a slight bit of distortion. So you can actually um, improve your signal to noise ratio and the quality of your received audio simply by um, making sure that your S meter doesn't peak. Now there's two main ways to do that. You can turn the attenuator on like I've just done here and it's dropped right down. Um, now this radio has a fixed attenuator, um, so does the IC7300 and a lot of entry level rigs. They're usually somewhere between 10 or 20 decibels. Um, but if you don't want to go that far, and uh, as you can see the S meter isn't that linear anyway because at S7 when I introduced uh, the attenuator, it should have only dropped down to about S3 but it didn't. Um, so, no, only dropped down to about S4. So, if you don't want to be that brutal, there's another way of doing it and I'll show you how you do it. So, we'll just confirm we've got a signal here. So that, that's quite good quality anyway, but, um, and I'm only using it, this particular transmission as an example because um, it's got the strong reading on the S meter. Um, he's got another partner here who you can barely hear. Now if you want to include, uh, increase the signal to noise ratio, on these receivers, what you do is you dial back your RF gain, so you adjust your volume for what you like, then you dial back your RF gain, and you'll find as you do that, the bars go solid um, on your S meter. So if I increase it even more, you'll see it'll go solid at S9. And so what that's telling you is that um, you've dialed back your RF gain to the point that the AGC will only kick in when an S9 signal comes along, more or less, that's the theory. Now you can still see, you can hear weaker signals, but your quality's improved a little bit. Now we'll dial it back a bit, sorry, wrong way. And I've dialed it back to maybe about five, so it's resting at about S4 to S5 but on his peaks, the AGC is still kicking in. So with this particular station, to get the best performance, I would adjust the volume for what I wanted to some degree. I would dial my um, RF gain back to the point that it wasn't flickering, and then I'd turn my volume up. And that gives me the best received performance I can possibly have. Now when it comes to giving a signal report, there's no problem with telling this operator that he's five and, um, five and eight because you know, you've got your RF gain set to the point it only kicks in at eight, and you're hearing imperfectly, F, um, you know, S5 copy, um, so you'll say five and eight. Um, it is a little bit difficult because you will find you actually will still, still hear weaker stations, um, so it does sort of inflate the reports a little bit, but it's worth keeping in mind with all of these radios, the S meter isn't the be all and end all of, um, you know, signal strengths. Right, okay. Amateur radios, they're just not calibrated um, like a commercial receiver would be. Um, they are a transceiver, and as far as I'm concerned, it, um, giving a, um, a signal report and a quality report, it's more important to let the operator know 
um, I guess, how well he sounds. So that's the first part, by one to five, and how strong he's coming through. And that's a relative measurement anyway. So because this station's coming through beautifully. Hotel Lima Mike, VK2, Charlie, proper Charlie. You know, I would be very happy to give him a 509 report. I don't think it's uh, that big a, big a deal. Um, he does easily hit nine on the peaks. So there's no problem with giving him that sort of report. And at the end of the day, um, you know, if you're into contesting and that, you'll notice people always exchange um, five and nine. So reports aren't the be all and end all of things. But it is helpful to try, you know, if someone's playing around with antennas, in that case, you wouldn't bother trying to maximize your um, receiver performance. You'd try and be, um, be a persistence to them by giving them a relative um, strength measurement, even though it's not perfectly accurate. You know, if they're on a vertical and it's, um, uh, you know, it's 5.5 five and they're on a uh, dipole and it's 5.9, well, you know, even though that might not tr truly indicate the amount of decibel difference, which in that case should be um, 4 times 6, which is 24 decibels, but uh, at least you're giving them the, um, the right information that if they want to converse with you using the dipoles better. So I'll just put the Kenwood away for a second and I'll zoom out a little bit. Give me a bit. And I just want to show you that it's actually consistent across a different range of radios. So hopefully I can do this. This is another Super Het. This is a fully traditional Super Het radio. It's got no DSP or anything, so it is a full analog radio. Um, one of the last of its kind. And this is the um, little Yaesu FT817. Now, can I get the brightness uh, right there for you guys? Let's have a look. I am working in a low light environment, so it is quite hard to, to get the brightness just right um, to show off uh, what I'm trying to show here. Color 3, yes. Well, is there actually a brightness setting on this radio? I'm not sure. What about color 2? Let's, oh, color, which one's a bit easier to read? Color 2 is probably the easiest to read. Maybe if we put the contrast up a lot, let's have a look. Mm, five is about right. Um, doesn't look like there is a brightness on this one, so I'll just try moving it forward a little bit. And I'll turn that off. Now I don't have an antenna plugged in, but down the bottom is the S meter, and you'll see as I dial back the RF gain, you'll see the S meter start to creep up there. So there you go, as I'm dialing it back, you can see that the S meter, and in this case it's not actually labelled on a little um, FT818, um, but you can see that the, you know, as you dial back the RF gain, it actually in, um, gives you a visual display of when it, um, the receiver's AGC is kicking in. So that's different to the SDRs, like the ICOM IC7300, the 7610, and the IC9700, all of those SDR receivers, when you dial back the RF gain, you don't get a visual indicator on your S meter, and then you can't really give a report. You sort of have to make it up. So it is nice on the older Super Hets that they do actually, you know, give you an indication of when the AGC is kicking in, so you can still give a medium accuracy report. Now, um, as I said, this that sort of style with RF gain is consistent across most Super Hets that I've used. Uh, the TS590SG does it, the Yaesu FT818 does it, and even the ICOM IC7200, um, the military looking radio, that does the same thing. So that's, a, I guess, a nice feature of Super Hets is that they do actually, um, when you dial back the RF gain, give you some indication of what the, you know, how much you've dialed it back in terms of signal strength so that it can still give a medium accuracy report. So, we just go back into this uh, the little Kenwood for a second here. Um, let's have a scroll around so if we can find someone else. See how as I've moved, even though there's nothing there, your S meter has stayed there because it's still indicating that the AGC is not going to kick in because I've reduced the RF gain until we get an S5 signal. Now if I go back to blank, we're not getting anything there. Um, in this case, if you were to receive someone on this frequency, you wouldn't dial the RF game back unless you start seeing the S meter move. 
So it is fine to have the radio set up like this just for scanning the band. Oh, we found something there for a second. Are they going to come back? There you go. So they're right on the limit. We'll just dial that back a bit. And see how they're peeking around. Um, well, he's using a compressor, so he's pretty much a solid three. So what we'll do is we'll dial our RF game back just a little bit until we're at about, you know, an S4 or an S5. We actually get nicer audio. I'll give you an example. Let's dial it up. Let's turn the RF gain reduction off. Well, they're completely gone now. There you go. That's RF gain completely full um, off. There's no reduction. And it's a little bit hard to capture this because the operators are coming in and out. But when we go like this, we actually reduce the distortion in our receiver. So, um, as I was saying, the best, it's really nice that Super Hits give you that visual indication. And, um, oh, here's someone else. So, to, so you can see that he's uh, got quite a decent dynamic range between, I guess, S0 and S5. To get the most out of his signal, we'll dial it back to, say, an S7. And you can hear that so much clearer. Listen to this. Hopefully you could hear the difference in the signal noise ratio there because it wasn't the clipping of the AGC. Anyway, uh, that's a quick tour of how to get the most out of a Super Heterodyne receiver. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jared VK3B, Operate My Radio, saying 73 and uh, enjoy the hobby.